Benji Hammonds made such a smart move staying at Purdue. Right now, he would be drifting around somewhere in Europe or the D League, but now, because of the way Matt Painter and all have coached him, he's got a real chance. He's been really consistent for us. That's what you want from your seniors having your best season, making that next step, making that improvement. It's so important to keep making strides. A lot of times people talk about adding something to your game. He's really just kind of gotten better at what he does. I think it kind of shows you averaging, you know, 15 and eight, two and a half blocks a game. It's my last year, so, you know, just trying to bring it every game. My mindset is just keep trying to get blocks, really. And that's his seventh block of this game. I feel like I got the timing down pretty well. When I do get a chance, I do take advantage of a lot of blocks here. Great block by Hammonds again. Well, just having that presence, not even, you know, getting the blocks, just being there and people thinking about him. You know, he's done a really good job of just kind of patrolling the paint for us, being that anchor and being that last backline help. Other than that, I would say get the rebounds. I don't know that's something where I should kind of struggle most of my four years, so. I've been just trying to like rebound a little more just to show I know I can't rebound. Look at him grab this rebound. He's got a shoe in one hand, and he's got the ball in his left hand. He's always been a guy that will go get the ball, which is a great thing. But doing a little bit better job boxing out, he's just giving more energy to it. Hammonds with a double-double now. The 23rd of Hammonds' career, which leads all active players in the Big Ten. He's also rebounded late in games. He's gotten some key rebounds for us. It's been real fun with the team I got this year. I feel like our team we have, we can beat pretty much anybody in the uh, Big Ten. Edwards, top of the circle to Davis. Lobs it in, and there's a dunk by A.J. Hammonds. I didn't really understand it my first two years. You know, it was just like, all right, that's the rivalry game. Last year was a good year. We got the first one at home, then we went down there. You know, it was a big, big game. It'll be Hammonds at the line, one and one, with four seconds left in the game. Just knocking down those free throws in that kind of environment, it was big. This is the big one. Biggest shot of his career. It is up, it is good! He hit it! Game is over! The Boilermakers win at Bloomington, 67-63! <laughs> He was able to help us last year winning those games, and you know he understands the importance of it. He understands that. He understands the in-state rivalry, and you know he gets up for these games. It means a lot more now, just because you have two teams ranked in the top 25. A lot of times, Indiana and Purdue have been one's been up, the other one's been down, and vice versa. having both teams in the top 25, I think it means a lot more. Well, it's difficult to play there no matter the circumstances, so I think having a late game on Saturday is going to be crazy. It's Indiana and Purdue. The rivalry renewed here tonight at Assembly Hall. Me and Yogi play on this hand you team, so, you know, every time I go down down at you, I always just talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're about to get another L. Hey, it's going to take everybody where black to go, man. Let's go, Let's go. Hey, that's against 17,000 right here, man. You got to go out there and play hard, play as hard as you can, man. It is our last time, so I'm trying to leave with the win. We thought it would be rocking. We knew it'd be rocking, and tonight it is rocking at Assembly Hall. Purdue at 21 and 6, Indiana at 21 and 6, and Indiana is 15 and zip in this arena this year. Tonight's going to be all about whether or not this is a half court game and Purdue's size. And if Purdue's able to dig their heels in and make this a half court game, I don't think that's what Indiana wants at all. Turns, fadeaway jumper up, good! Hammond's going to work on the Hoosiers early tonight. And the big men for Purdue are doing a lot of damage. They've got 10 points. And he swings it back outside. That drives down low to Troy. He slams it home. Right over Isaac Hot. Back to Bielfeld. Comes in on Hammonds. Turns. Leans in. And they call it against Hammonds. His second foul. With that foul, Hammonds is 
going to be out of the game for an extended period. Klein drives on Hartman, throws it back outside, threw it away. Yogi picks it up. Yogi slows. Let's go a three. Yeah! So dangerous are the Indiana Hoosiers. They can fill it up in a hurry, and they're doing it tonight. Roy Williams steals it, takes it inside, and he slams it with the left hand. Purdue needs a timeout. As Indiana's played a near perfect first half. Knocked away by Bryant, picked up by Nico to Troy Williams, takes it in, lays it up, and scores! Down low to OG, who slams it home! Baseline throws it out to Harrison to Max Bielfeld for a three. Oh, he hit! Outlet to OG, takes it inside, puts it up, and missed it, puts it right back in again. And the place is on its feet here. The Hoosiers with their biggest lead of the game. Indiana leads by 19. Purdue is uh, shaken. Boilermakers down with the ball, and they need some offense in a big way. Someone has got to provide it other than the centers. It comes to Mathias. Back to Hammonds down inside. He will duck in the foul. Here is Edwards. Throws it outside to Thompson for a three. He hit it. And Indiana's lead is evaporated down to eight. Swanigan gives it back to Thompson, who gives to Edwards for a three look, and he buries it. Davis off to Swanigan. Look at count, Swanigan. Matthias with it on the sideline. Hammonds is open, turns, lays it in. Yogi has it batted and stolen away from behind by Thompson. Off to Matthias, into Raphael Davis, into Thompson. Throws it back to Matthias. Fakes the three, fires the three, and hits it. And suddenly it's a two-point game. 75-73, 18 seconds left in the game. Differential is about six seconds. Farrell, top of the key, drives inside, lays it up. It should be a goaltend, it is. They're gonna call goaltending with seven seconds left. Oh my goodness. And Indiana survives 77 to 73. We take care of the basketball, we have a chance. And we had a chance tonight and we didn't take care of the basketball. I told our guys, each guy's gotta be about a possession better. And uh, they gotta do a better job. I like our group, but I thought Indiana was a little bit tougher and I thought they were a little bit better today.